Welcome to Chainplay Sonic the Hedgehog 2. If you're a bit confused, don't worry about it. Go ahead and click part 1 and you'll be set all the way back to the beginning. For everyone else, let's jump right in. Hello, it is I, Steven Ux, and welcome back to the Sonic 2 Chainplay. And we leave Tails behind to go ahead and continue on in Wing Fortress. Now, Wing Fortress is actually a pretty, um... Pretty easy stage, you know, for one that I'm totally kidding. This is like one of the hardest stages in the classic Sonic. Wing Fortress is like known for being super unforgiving. It's it's only one act, funny enough, but it's like the hardest one act you'll ever play. Simply because uh, you're watching now, like how many bottomless pit- like if you fall, it's over. Like, th there's so many ways to die in Wing Fortress. If it's not the, the many bottomless pits, it's definitely going to be these weird like chicken enemies like the boss is really hard there's like so many reasons to die in this this stage and if you suck at it you know don't feel bad because a lot of people do um like myself i used to hate the stage and i still don't really like it you know sonic 2 is like my favorite genesis game period but wing fortress it's like not my favorite like i never look forward to coming here but it's definitely gotten easier over the years like as you can see right now and one thing to note about it is that it's actually very easy to get tons of rings. Like, you almost always get an extra life in Wing Fortress. I don't know why that is. I don't know why it's designed that way. Maybe because they know you're going to be struggling with uh, the final boss in uh, Death Egg. So they want to give you as many lives. Or maybe just because you're going to die a lot, you know. Or get hit a lot. Yeah, like, it's like... <laughs> It's really hard, you know? It's just, I can't stress how, how difficult the stage is on the first, uh, I guess, play. But, we're doing pretty well right now. I guess years of experience helped me out. But to kill that enemy, do that, and be, because, like, you're going to get hit by that enemy a lot. And, um... Yeah, but funny enough, like, thinking, when you, when you look at who's on the, um... When you actually look at who's on the chain play, I'm like the biggest Sonic fan, so it's like, like I'm the, the dedicated Sonic tuber on the list. So I guess it's really fitting to have me do the hardest stage, but well, we'll see. Also, I'm very paranoid about this part. You gotta be really fast over here. These things disappear like so, like blazing fast. The moment you see that thing pop out, that's when you wanna do that. And whenever you're on those things, by the way, that to like shoot you across the screen, you want to like not have any input. You want to just like let your controller rest. Like it's it's hard to explain, but just like run up to it and don't do anything. And they usually take you take you where you need to go. It's like a scripted scene, so or a scripted like gameplay thing. I don't know. But uh, here we go. We're at the final checkpoint, and this is the boss, the second hardest boss in the game, I think. I have no real strategy for this boss, it's pretty dang hard, so what you want to do, I'd say, is just stay on the platforms, man, like, stay away from the laser, I mean, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty difficult boss, um, I like to concentrate, it's hard to commentate with this, but, I got three hits, oh my god, and I got four rings, five, let's go. I get freaking terrified. I remember my first time, like, my first times ever playing this stage, I just could not beat it. It was so, like, oh my god, imagine, like, because on the Genesis, there were, there was no, like, save feature in Sonic 3, like, in, like in Sonic 3. Oh my god, we have one hit left. I am terrified. I am terrified right now. And there we go, we beat it. Zero rings, that's the way we do it. Four lives, yeah, man, we're so good, we're so good. But, uh, yeah, and that's Wing Fortress over here. We have a small cutscene. One of the few cutscenes in Sonic 2, by the way. Uh, that's that's something that definitely carried into Sonic 3, and we have Tails back to help us. Will he be in the final boss? No, he will not, but it's cool to see Tails there. As he will help us get to the rocket ship that will take us to Death Egg. You know, the main thing of the game. Something you never really see throughout the game, but you get to see for the first time here. But that was Wing Fortress, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to join us in the final part where third Mario Brother will be finishing off the game with Death Egg. I'm Steven Ux and I will definitely talk to you all later.